Good day, Android Studio Coders. You are here at YouTube in my Android Studio channel. And uh, before I have created a tutorial that shows the values uh, coming from a string array, uh, which I, ha I have named my country list, into a list view that should be displayed in the, in the application once it is loaded. But someone have asked me, uh, is it possible to load contents of a text file into a list view? Of course it is. It is possible, but we have to utilize the concepts that we have learned in one of my tutorial, which is loading the contents of a text file into a text view. Now we are going to load that into a list view instead of a text view. So uh, in that tutorial, we have created two sets of input stream variable and a buffered street uh, reader variable so to do that uh, uh, first here uh, let's comment this out because uh, the values would be coming from a text file but let's create a, another string array recreate that string array but and let's name it my country list but let's not yet put uh, how long is this array or let's not yet put any values into it so after this we create a uh, input let's just call it is is and buffered reader for counting length of rows in text file okay and then we have another set of is and buffered reader for loading the values in the text file into string array okay so we have now have a guide so let's do that so in input stream equals inputs stream counter okay so we don't get lost and then buffered reader so buffered reader counter okay and then another set of input stream and buffer reader so input stream so input stream loader so meaning to load that into our list view variable or list view object and then buffer reader so buffer reader loader okay so that's it uh, our variable names are intuitive and then after that uh, we connect our so connect our is and vr into text file and each other so in order to do that uh, let's create that uh, do that for the uh, the first batch Let's do that for the counters first. Counters and then loaders. Okay. So the counters is input stream counter equals this that get resources that open raw resource r dot id no r dot raw because it's coming from the raw folder here and then my country list. Okay. Don't forget the semicolon and then buffered reader, sorry, buffered reader counter equals new. Is this the correct syntax? Okay, uh, I'm thinking new buffered reader and then new input stream reader, which is our input stream counter. Okay, it, it should be partnered with uh, his own input stream variable or object and then let's do that too for the loaders okay so input stream loader equals this that get resources dot open raw resource and then r dot raw dot my country list okay it's the same syntax just different input stream uh, object or variable and then for the buffered reader buffered reader loader equals new buffered reader 
in the new input stream reader which is our input stream loader make sure you connect it with the proper partner okay since we have done that uh, the only thing that we need to do now is to be able to uh, count first count the number number of of rows or lines in text file okay so in order to do that let's use a try catch block okay catch exception e then e that print stack trace okay and then let's uh for this let's uh let's use the input stream counter or and the buffered reader counter so oh sorry uh we are not going to use the input stream counter or uh here anymore or the input stream objects what we need to use are the input stream uh, readers the counter particularly so sorry the buffered reader counter okay buffered reader counter so sorry sorry the, it should be inside a while so while buffered reader counter is able to read line that read line and not equal to null then you count the number of lines actually uh, we should have created first here at the top an int for as our counter so in counter or in count okay mm -hmm. We have already defined it okay we have already defined it so no need to create that anymore we have already defined our int that should be used to count here the int variable for counting so uh in count if it's not yet the end of the line and then we increment the in count which starts at zero okay so that's it that's the only thing we need the buffered reader counter for that and then let's create another try catch block so here load contents or lines into <coughs> our string array load rows <coughs> okay so we use a try catch block there too so control let's just copy this one for us to be fast so so here we use a for loop for in equals i for in sorry for in i equals zero and then i less than our in count here less than our in count because our uh, indexes of array starts with zero so whatever the length that's obtained by this in count it should just uh load for the entire length minus one so one less than uh, as long as, as it's less than the in count okay and then i increment okay so we have that and then uh but first uh before this we should have since we already have the in count here we should have loaded this uh my control list we uh, initialize the my country list the length of the list into the length of the in count so new string okay so you should be familiar with this so new string and the in count okay should be equal to the length of the in count okay so we, we now have that and then uh, my country list equals so we now use the buffer uh, buffered reader loader that that read line okay country list equals sorry uh, it should be here we should put here the i because what should be load uh, what should this buffered for every loop for every loop by this for loop 
uh, it should be loaded into my control list depending on what loop it is, what value of the i which is an integer. Okay, so you put i here and the error in your code would disappear. So we, we already have uh, commented out this string array here and replaced it with another string array which is not of the final type uh, because it's dynamic. So we now test our code if the contents of this uh, text file which is a list of countries is loaded into our emulator then our code is correct. So let's, let, let us test that now. Okay, let's cross our finger. Um, I bet. Okay, so we now have our uh, list of countries coming from, from our text file. So we could compare the first here is India and the last is Vietnam. And we now have it in, in the same order that we have in our text file. So our code here is correct. So we have 16 lines. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our code is successful and we could even test for other functionalities of the code. So our click listeners are working. Okay. <laughs> this should have been Peru. Okay, let's uh, change that. Peru. So we can run that again and see if it's, it changes into the contents of the text file so we now have it as Peru and our click listeners are working even our even our select listeners and let's try our filter so let's filter here okay so we have Peru we have Philipp uh, Philippines okay Canada so our our filter is working and we have successfully changed uh, the data source of our list view from a hard-coded uh, string array here from a string array that obtains its data from a text file. So that's a great achievement for you because you know you could now easily uh, change the contents of your app and launch a new version of your app by just adding a just adding uh, other countries here so you could, could add here Russia you could add here uh, other countries like Laos and Denmark and uh, your code is automatically uh, updated no need to, to touch uh, I mean your app is already updated and no need to touch your code because your code is now dynamic uh, you just have to change the data source and everything is uh, updated in your application and you can ju just launch a new version of your app here you could change the you could change the version in your build that gradle uh, module colon app and you could launch a new application of your app so let's test if what we have added is reflected Okay, it's here. We have Ra Russia, Laos, and Denmark. Okay, and our click listeners are working, even our select listeners. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for uh, watching this video of mine. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. I hope you, you have seen how we are able to modify our code uh, with a different functionality or added functionality. Uh, by, step, uh, by uh, improving what we already have. And guys, I'm asking your help. Please support me at Patreon, at my Patreon account, which the link of which I'm putting in the description so that I would be able to continue doing this kind of video tutorial. So thank you and bye for now.